Joan Davis Show. I Married Joan, America's favorite comedy show. Starring America's queen of comedy, Joan Davis, as Mrs. Joan Stevens. And featuring Jim Backus as Judge Bradley Stevens. It's just beautiful, Joan. Every time Charlie and I come over here, I love it more. Well, thanks a lot, Mabel. The colors and the fabrics are blended with such perfect harmony and in such excellent taste. Well, gee, the lady who did all the decorating here is simply delighted to hear people say things like that. By the way, Joan, who did your decorating? Me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh you know, when I see how warm and homey this room is, I'm kind of sorry we decorated our house in that functional modern. Oh, don't be silly, Mabel. Your house is absolutely gorgeous. And that modern furniture, well, it's so clever and useful. Maybe so, but it doesn't have the charm early American has. No, you're wrong, Mabel. In the first place... Joan, will you pick up your hand? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Mabel? I have any cards. Boy, I got plenty. <laughs> You're chasing them on, Mabel. Nothing doing. Next deal. Oh, right. come on, oh, Charlie. Boy, in my hand, I had such high cards. Did you see that? <laughs> Mabel, your house is simply magnificent. Oh, Johnny, you're just saying that because I raved about your house the other night. Oh, no, I mean it. Uh, just look at the lines of that couch and, and the shape of the coffee table and your gorgeous white rug. My pride and joy. And those end tables. Well, they're the end. The absolute end. <laughs> Girls, I thought we were playing bridge. <laughs> now, and uh, who dealt? I did. One spade. Two diamonds. What do you say, Joan? I say, I wish we could furnish our place in modern. Yeah. <laughs> women. Just because Mabel has modern, she wants early American, and just because Joan has early American, she wants modern. Joan, in no time at all, you'd want your old furniture back, and, and Mabel would want her modern back. Why don't we find out? Hmm? What do you mean? Why don't we change houses for a while? Change houses? That's a wonderful idea. Then I can find out if I really like living with early American, and you can find out if you like modern. Joan, this is utterly fantastic. Well, Brad, would you rather that I spend a lot of money refurnishing our place in modern and then find out I don't like it? This way I can find out free of charge. You got a point there, Brad. You know, this might save us both a lot of money. It uh, might at that. <laughs> and Brad, if I don't like modern, I promise that I'll never even talk about refurnishing again. The same goes for me, Charlie. What do you say, Brad? Look, here's the key to my house. <laughs> well, okay, but it's, uh, don't forget it's just for one week. Now, uh, let's uh, finish the game. Hmm? Well, then, Mabel, it's all set. Now, all we have to do is transfer our uh, clothes and our perfume and our two Girls, churches. let's play bridge. <laughs> oh, yes, I forgot our husbands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joni. Joni. I I'm home. More or less. <laughs> Mother. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Say, what's that? Why, that's the modern functional kiss to go with the new decor. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm going to like this modern after all. Well, honey, how was your first day in the house? Just wonderful, Brad. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, yeah, well, I'll uh, sit over here and read the paper. No, darling. Come here, uh, you take this chair here, dear. Right. Oh, 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 no, honey, this is the most comfortable looking chair in the room. You sit here. Honey. Come on now, you well, take it, dear. All right, honey. Oh, here's uh, your uh, section of the paper. Thank you, dear. All right, that's nice, sir. Nice, sir. This is the light. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, 
Joan, could I have some uh, cheese and crackers? Oh, sure, dear. I've got some right over there. I'll get them for you. <laughs> Oh, uh, look, look at this uh, modern coffee table, darling. You don't even have to bring anything over. It, it's on gliders. You, you, you just push with the fingers. Oh, maybe it wasn't uh, gliding, right? Uh, thank you, darling. Thank you. <laughs> Brad, how about this? Modern lamp. Look at you can adjust it to any height that you want for reading. Good for the eyes, dear. I don't think I'll sit in this chair. It's so comfortable, I'm liable to fall asleep on it. <laughs> Take one of these. What do I like about this modern stuff? You see how functional it is, dear? Uh, it, it, you can use it for anything. Play quite. <laughs> the table. Now the chair. Modern. Why would they make the bedroom part of the living room? Oh, Brad, you just don't understand modern design. There are a great many advantages in combining the living room and the bedroom. Name one. Name one? Yes, yes, advantage of combining the living room and the bedroom. You want one advantage? Yes. Uh, for combining the living room and the bedroom? Yes. Well, in the first place... Yes. And there are a great many other advantages, too, Brad. Now, you'll just love it. Wait till you spend a few nights here. And... All right, dear, there's no point in arguing. Come on, let's get to bed. I uh, presume there is a bed. Oh, of course there's a bed, dear. Uh, Mabel showed me how it works. Now, you just press a little button. <laughs> now, where'd you see that button? <laughs> Watch, dear. <laughs> it's my bed. There's your bed. Hidden beds. Hidden bedrooms. Everything modern is hidden. No wonder. They're probably ashamed of the stuff. Now, Brad, you said that you'd give me a week here to see if I like the stuff. Buttons and springs. Might as well give up your subscription for House Beautiful. Get one for Popular Mechanics. Well, you have to give it a fair chance now, because after all, it's these buttons and these springs that make life so simple. Yeah. And, and easy. I may be old-fashioned, but I like chairs that look like chairs, tables that look like tables, and beds that don't go into the wall. Like I said before, dear, these are the things that make life so simple. You just have to press buttons. I'm <laughs> stuck, dear. I guess I didn't pull it out far enough and let it yeah, I snap know, and lie. I know, Joe. Now just that. press the button. Oh, functional furniture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the use of pretending, Brad? I, I hate this cold furniture. I want to go back to my nice, warm, friendly stuff. Okay, okay, honey. As soon as the week is up, we'll change back. No, I want to go back now, Brad. But you can't, dear. It's too late. But you go over to our house first thing in the morning and have a talk with Mabel. Okay, it'll be very embarrassing, but I'm going to do it. I know, I know, honey. Now, let's get some sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I know it didn't snap into place. Yeah. Push the button again. Yes, I'll, I'll do it, dear. I'll do it. Good night, love. <laughs> <laughs> 
Joan, how anyone could be so stupid, I'll never know. But, Brad... Of all the harebrained schemes, how I ever got into this, this is the most nonsensical thing that you have ever done. And I want to... <laughs> How am I going to break the news to Joan? I'm embarrassed. Tell her the truth, that's all. Look, I can't spend another night in those soft, old-fashioned mattresses. I look at eye. My back's killing me. You said Joan's house was so charming. I take it all back. It doesn't compare with our modern things. Why, in this whole house, there's not one thing that disappears. I spent an hour this morning trying to get the beds back into the wall. Oh, come on. <laughs> Look, maybe we can move back even before the week's over. Uh, you talk to Joan, will you? Hello, Mamo. Charlie. Joan. I was just leaving. Well, goodbye, dear. Goodbye, Chip. <laughs> goodbye, dear. How's everything, Joan? Oh, just fine, dear. I, I thought I'd just drop by. I got a little lonesome. Uh, to see you. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. By the way, how do you like my modern furniture? As a matter of fact, it's awful. Oh, awfully nice. <laughs> how do you like my place? I think your place is awful, too. Awfully charming. <laughs> well, I was thinking, Mabel, uh, maybe we ought to move back sooner. What? Oh, well, you see, I know how crazy I've become about your place in just one day. And so I can imagine how much you must miss it. And, and I don't want to deprive you of it for a whole week. That's funny. I didn't want to deprive you of your place for a whole week either. That's wonderful. Now, instead of a week, what do you say that we change back in, um, six days? Make it five days. <laughs> uh, what about four days? Make it three days. How about two days? How about an hour from now? Wonderful. Oh, Joan, huh? could you make that half an hour? I'll be back in 15 minutes. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Mabel. Yes, yes, I I'm all packed and I'll be over in about a... What? Well, maybe we agreed to move back right away. So what if Linda has got two tickets for the matinee? Go tomorrow. Well, I know, but honey, a promise is a promise, and we agreed to move back right away, and I'm all... Pa <laughs> oh. As I was saying, Mabel, there's no rush in moving back. <laughs> now, go to the matinee. Uh, we can wait till tomorrow or the next day or... Huh? It's gotta be tonight. Huh? Okay, Mabel. Permanent. I'm not only on a spot, I'm on a permanent spot. <laughs> Apply with a sponge and work gently into a lather. Mm -hmm. In five minutes, you will find that super foam has whisked away the stain as if by magic. Well, I can sure use a little magic. Hello, dear. Ready to move back to our house? Well, Johnny, you should be packing our things. This is no time to be cleaning Mabel's rug. Oh, yes, it is, dear. I, I spilled a bottle of ink on it, and we can't leave until I get it out. The whole bottle, not even a drop left. Well, that's no problem, Brad. I can always buy her another bottle of ink. The stain is the problem. That's our big problem. Well, it, it, it sure is. is. You're wasting your time. Why don't you call a professional rug cleaner? I did. And what did he say? He said that he was wasting his time. He said it couldn't be done. <laughs> well, luckily, Mabel said that she wasn't ready to move back until late tonight. 
Meantime, I'm, I'm using super foam, see? <laughs> yeah, well, you'll remove the stain, all right. You'll rub away the whole rug. Joni, Joni, why don't you see if it's doing any good? Yeah, I guess it's been on five minutes. Let's see, huh? It's magic, all right. It's about as twice as big now. Magic super foam. Oh, Brad. What am I going to tell Mabel? How can I face her? What'll I say? Well, Joni, I don't know. Say, I've got an idea. Yeah? What, what is it? Well, no, no, it's, it's, it's too wild. No, tell me. And maybe it isn't too wild. What is it, Brad? Well, uh, no, you'd, you'd never go for it. Well, maybe I would. Come on, I'd like to hear it. Uh, what, what's your idea? Tell Mabel the truth. Oh, Brad, you and your wild ideas. I told you you wouldn't like it, Joni. Tell her the truth. Honestly, you think just like a man. Well, how can I tell Mabel what I did to her favorite rug? I, I haven't got the heart to break her heart. <laughs> See, maybe I didn't put enough on, huh? Try some more. Oh, come on. Get to work, all you little pixies. Bum 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 Well, Joni, what are you gonna do? Well, there's only one thing to do, Brad. We'll, we'll just have to buy Mabel a new rug exactly like this one. And get rid of this one without her knowing. What a waste. Oh, well, it won't be a total loss, Brad. You see, I'll have this one dyed blue, the exact color of the ink stain, and then we'll have a blue rug for our spare room. Yes, well, now, come on, Brad. Help me get this stuff off here and roll up the rug. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is Mabel's favorite rug. Yes, I know it. She's so crazy about it. She even hates to see people step on it. <laughs> Uh, so my husband helped me get the rug here. He's going to pick me up later, you know. And, and what I want to do is I want to buy a white rug exactly like this rug, and I want this one dyed blue exactly the same color as the ink stain. Uh, do you think you can do it? Oh, I'm sure we can do it. What do you think, Joe? Oh, sure. It'll be easy. All right, Mr. Stevens, why don't you look around for a white rug just like this one, and here are some swatches for you to look over, right. and I'll go get some samples of blue dye. All right. Explain it to you. It's such a silly situation. I was staying in my friend's house at the time, so I felt responsible for anything that happened. I felt so guilty about staining her beautiful rug. <laughs> it's Mabel. Somebody tipped her off that I'm here. <laughs> Joe. Yes, sir? Look, I promised this rug for delivery in the morning, and I get to work on it. Come on, will you? Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
That's enough of that. Take it out of the way and start on the one in the back of it. Yes, sir. Hey, Joe. Yes, sir? Drop whatever you're doing and come out here, will you? Okay. I didn't mean that, you lunkhead. Joe, can't you be more careful? Well, well, he said that uh, you told me that I, uh, that I was going, uh, that we all got, yes, sir? Just bring in the pebble twist rug. Yes, sir, right away. <laughs> now, if this is what you need, and I think it will be, we can give you a very good buy on it. Is that so? Yes, you see, it's the end of a large roll of broad loom, and we'd like to dispose of it. Naturally, it would be a saving to you, and, oh, here it is now. Would you step over this way, please? Mm -hmm. Roll it out, Joe. Yes, sir. <laughs> Joan! Darn these magic flying carpets. Next time, I'll take the train. <laughs> and so while we were waiting to move back to our houses, I decided to do my hair. I spilled a bottle of peroxide and bleached a big white stain on your blue rug. And that's why you were at the carpet store. To have the rest of it bleached white and to buy you a new blue one. Like I was going to dye the rest of yours blue and buy you a new white one. And all we had to do was to exchange the one I had bleached white for the one you had dyed blue. Without buying any new rug. Boy, look at all the money we saved by having those two accidents. Two spades. Oh. Uh, 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 arranging. Did you hear me, Johnny? Two spades. I heard you, I heard you. Try a cigar cutter. Just bought it today. You don't know how it works yet. Oh! Oh, I licked myself. Oh, I'll get you something for it, Charlie. Oh, Charlie, you're such a clumsy oaf. Two spades. Fred, I cut myself. Two spades. Where is it, Charlie? Right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, it stings. I oh, know it'll be all right. Oh, peroxide. Oh, you bleached a big white stain in the rug. Johnny, that's a shame. Now, 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 don't anybody get excited. I, I know exactly what to do. You, you see, we'll all go over to Mabel's house, and, and I'll take a bottle of ink, and I'll spill it on her white rug. And, and then I'll take both the rugs down to the store, and then I'll bleach the rest of this one white. And, and then we'll exchange rugs, and the, we'll be all set. And the beauty of it is that Mabel will have her own rug back, and I'll have mine. Two spades. Three dollars. I pass.